You can't see me. I need to climb higher up. Do I want to be seen? Bugs are not that popular, Gregor. Alrighty, um, welcome to Metamorphosis, which is a surreal puzzle indie game by the developers. Wait a minute. Um, Ovid Works, which is a Polish um, indie game studio um, based in Warsaw. And um, it's a pretty small team of um, <clears throat> 15 people. And I think they were founded in 2015. So the game is inspired by uh, Franz Kafka's um, Die Verwandlung, which I think is Metamorphosis in, in the English version. I don't know. And I actually did my homework and read Die Verwandlung before I started playing this game. Um, also, uh, a small hint, I played this before um, and realized I got motion sickness. So I had to redo this because apparently when I play too long, I get a little bit dizzy and nauseous and that really affects my commentary in that it vanishes my commentary like I'm I'm just playing without saying anything and that's not that's not why I'm doing that I'm I don't do I'm not good enough to do you know a commentary free let's play so um we start this again I haven't played the game through so um I know from the be I know the beginning, and hopefully we get through it fast, and I can offer some commentary. And if I f start to feel nauseous, I will stop this. So these will be shorter episodes for all of us. <sighs> Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Josephs. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. <sighs> ah, it closed. Oh, right. Now, where did I put the key? So, a short introduction to Franz Kafka's um, Die Verwandlung. It basically starts with Gregor Samsa, and we play as Gregor. Uh, our, our protagonist is also named Gregor Samsa. And he wakes up from um, weird dreams to awake as a bug, as a big bug. Um, and he actually couldn't get out of bed at, at the beginning because he lay on his back. And you know, bugs on their back, you always have to help them. So, it's... It's it's different. It's not this. We don't really play um, Die Verwandlung, which is good because I don't think it would make for exciting gameplay. Dear Mr. Gregor, the key is in one of the drawers. So this is already weird because this is obviously not from Joseph because our best friend would probably not address us as Dear Mr. Gregor. Also, this image this is based on the novel because Gregor Samsa is a sales rep in the novel or novella. It's more a short story slash novella. And he ripped this out of the catalog um, and put it in a frame. Maybe because he really liked the lady or maybe it was aspirational. Like he wanted to be as successful to have a lady that could he dress, that he could dress in furs and everything. Um, yeah. Here it is. There we go. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. Huh. The photographs seem very familiar, though. Why is he keeping all these photographs? Because that's what you do when you have photographs? Joseph, me, Max and Jacob at the Prater in Vienna. I wonder whether that's the developers or even some pictures with Kafka in them. Joseph is really photogenic. Yes, he is. We were young back then. Also, um, notice something? Gregor, no? Everything's fine with this? Joseph's first day at the bank. Yeah, not so photogenic there, if I might say so. If I might say so. My first day working as a salesman. But that's not a bug, that's a worm. That's Earthworm Jim. And a good doggo. 
Famous Kalitscha Schnitzel. Kalitschka Schnitzel. Tasty maggot. <laughs> Ooh, Joseph lost his luggage, so we didn't make it on board. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of these images, they're all hand-drawn and they look beautiful. Like, I think the background and everything, the whole design is hand-drawn. And it's a, it's a beautiful game, really, it is. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? Oh, I'm smaller now. If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Oop. Let's try this way. Oh, again. Another letter? Dear Mr. Samsa, as things stand, the location of the key remains an unsolved mystery. Reaching the door handle might seem somewhat difficult, but we are confident you are up to the task. We hope you have what it takes to get to Tower. Not the Tower. Mm hmm. Aha! Yeah, I knew that. I It took me a bit longer. <laughs> First time around. Um... So we're getting smaller, so we apparently turn into a bug. Because in the wow, we get really smaller. Because in the novel he wakes up a bug. But apparently we were still um Oh yeah. That is cool, isn't it? I like that. That's such a cool idea. That's gorgeous. So is it only yeah. <laughs> Oh, I would love to have such an image, like, of my husband and I. That's, oh, that's adorable. Little, I want that. Yeah, but this is getting a bit, you know, super surreal. A ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These are in the legs I'm used to. Oh. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a bug? There, look at our legs. Oh. Do the dancey dance. It's just a jump to the left. But <laughs> and now I'm super small. All right. Whoop. Stay calm. Let's fight Jazz and move on from there. Again, I played this before, that's why I'm a little bit All right, uh, focus. You don't want to fall from Oh yeah. Oh. Also it's an iteration of this the same room over and over again, but with different walls and you know. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Yeah, I'm a bit faster in this because I already played it, so I, I know what to do. Um, I will not be as fast in the next, in the following episodes. <laughs> I will play um, until the point I, I reached the first time I tried to play this through and then got ill or sick. And then I will stop for the first episode. Because the ending I had there was kind of a good ending. For first episode to get an introduction into the game and everything so yeah visually it's really it's it's beautiful again from the point of view of the bug I, I get motion sickness so if you also get motion sick um, bear that in mind if you want to you know get this game that's really something to um, yeah to know and you can still enjoy it but you know I mean you probably know just as well as I do that you usually have to Take breaks and stuff like that. Almost. His voice gets creepy, really. Whoop. Ah, made it. And sticky, oh. Although, this liquid should help me climb up. Oh, that's a... 
No. Is that for the... From the... Is that a chewing gum? No. Oh, yeah. The noises and everything is also really... It's good. Um, the voice reading is... It's fine. But in dialogues, you will see later on, it's a little bit up to medium awkward. Oh! Oh! Can I do something with them? No? Huh. What did I do? Is that a weird collectible? Hmm. We're so small. In the... Oh. Okay. So in the book, um, in the story, in Kafka's story, um, Gregor Zamza actually turns into basically a human-sized bug, or at least a gigantic bug. So this is... It's a really broad interpretation um, and inspiration by the original book, but it has a few elements when it comes to the surrealism and also the themes. Dear Mr. Samsa, as we realize in what a sorry state you currently find yourself in, we would like to offer you an opportunity to come and work with us at the tower. Oh, they missed the V, the previous letter. Ah, oh, anyways. In order to start the recruitment process, please follow our symbol. Good luck. What in the... Oh. Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> that music, though, that's very. That, that's like Gregor Zamza meets Alice in Wonderland music. I like it. I have to look up who did the music because I. List it's gorgeous. I love this kind of music. It's Am I, in the letter? Am I? I wouldn't think that. Like if I would have been on the letter as a bug also, and then you know be here, I wouldn't think that I'm on a letter because it doesn't look like I'm inside a letter. It looks like I'm next to a black hole. Like this. It's basically cosmic horror. <laughs> How did you know? Are you feeling uncomfortable in your new skin? It's like advertisement. <laughs> Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream. Relax. Everything is fine. Oh, no. Oh. Fine. This is fine. Yeah, it sounds like, did you wake up as a bug? Do you feel kind of weird? Is this a place that you're usually in or is it completely different? Try Byzantreal. Oh. Did you transform into a bug in your bed? Are you feeling uncomfortable with your new skin? Or rather, exoskeleton? Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream? Relax. Everything is fine. Fine? This is fine? It's really not, is it? Like, I would... How do you... D the, that's the cool thing about the novella. It's basically um, an inconvenience to the protagonist at the beginning. And it's a lot about, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't go to work, oh no. And... Um, you are not the only one. There are more people like you who change into insects, but pulled through and even found a job. But I had a job. I like 
that. Well, sort of. His voice really makes my skin itch. I don't like it. It's... Oh, ooh, that was... Close. Um... Yeah, like, um, it's a parable. Do you say that in English? Um, the original Die, Ver Die Verwandlung. And it's a lot about... Yes, oh. a job. All thanks to Tower. They have Tower. Jeez, Gregor. Take a mint. <laughs> Tower is a modern office space offering honest, highly paid work to people turned into bugs. Okay. Specialist skills. Acquaint yourself with amicable arthropod associates. Obtain opportunities for occupational augmentation. And discover a different destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form. <laughs> Damn, Gregor. Like, really, you need, you know, like some honey or tea to relax your voice a little. Also, this more sounds like blackmail. Like, we, you, you know, if you work for us, we will turn you back, but they're probably responsible for me turning into a bug anyways. Also, Gregor's voice reminds me of, um, how are they called in The Lord of the Rings? Not Sauron, but like the, the dead humans that attack Frodo. If you hear background noise, that's rain. And that's a good thing. So please don't complain about the noise. It's a good noise. And I can't turn it off. I already have the window closed and sweat like a pig. Do pigs sweat a lot? I don't know. I sweat like a human because I think we sweat the most. <laughs> In the struggle between yourself and the world, second the world. What? Wait, what? I don't, is that the correct translation? That sounds weird. Like, is it put the world second? I haven't read that much Kafka. We didn't read it in school and it never really... Where am I? Well, let's find out. So now I'm full on Klingon. Hey, you wait. Oh! You can't see me. I need to climb higher up. Do I want to be seen? Bugs are not that popular, Gregor. Like, you might know that's... Joseph, it's you! Look what's happened to me! Joseph! Oh, not so photogenic there. <laughs> He's sleeping like a top. I need to wake up him somehow. I need to wake him up somehow. So the translation is a tiny little bit, um, you know. Because sleeping like a top, I mean... You can say that, but I don't think you can say that in this context. Wink, wink. Oh, also this guy. What does he- Yeah, who's that? I'll worry about him later. Alarm clock first. Okay, so we want to wake up Joseph. This dude will not see me, so I can do whatever I want. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, what the- Okay. Whoa! Yeah, so I have to put out the fan first. I can't go to the... Scary. It's really, really pretty, this game. Also, I like the wallpaper. Don't know if I would want it in my own home, but... Yeah. But looking at it makes me... that's beautiful wallpaper. But you need to have like a cool 
like high ceilings to to work this this kind of wallpaper. I live in a tower block kind of um, plattenbau. Just like I don't even know how to say that in English. And um, you couldn't pull that off. It would feel like a little cell. Whoop. Look at my pretty feet. Wakey, wakey! Who is this? How to draw their attention? You called? Uh, yes. Maybe if I, I reach the cupboard. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented. This is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary, I demand to know who you are. And is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. For sure I am. Does Mr. Kubak know I think these are Joseph's private notes. Can't imagine this. Meeting. I shouldn't be reading this. Oh, well, we're reading this. Um, meeting with Gregor at Old Rudy's. I put the volume down. I will tell you later what happens there in the background because I've listened to it before. <clears throat> We've been working out a plan for a company. I suggested the name Joseph Gregor and Sons. Upside, it inspires confidence. Downside, we don't have any sons. Gregor was passionate as he always is. The more he drank, the more ambitious the plan became. I stopped him when he started to talk about talking, taking over the Trans-Siberian Railway. Nonetheless, I envy Gregor for his carefree, if at times brash, attitude. I keep my feet on the ground. Compared to Gregor, you could even say I'm crawling. Oh. No to self, more zest. So this is a wink-wink game. A total wink-wink game. It's about her. Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? No. No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. So, uh, this guy just showed up, is apparently from the police, and wants to um, arrest our friend. But he doesn't say why. Which, um, I need to get higher up. I love my... They look so pretty. My little feet. Ten things Joseph and Gregor will insist on during future negotiations with their bosses. So they're still employed. So their plans to have their own business are just plans for now. Um, Joseph wants promotion to district chief clerk. A bigger desk. <laughs> by 20 centimeter. And reimbursement of a leisure jaunt to thermal bath. And Gregor wants 16 holidays per year, a second free Saturday per month, and reimbursement of shoe repairs. So Gregor is more the holiday type, isn't he? That's cute. Also, this Gregor is nothing like the Gregor in um, Die Verwandlung. Because that's more of a passive, very polite, not brash at all person who wants to make sure that everyone is happy and is very um, self-conscious. I'm just looking around. So don't, don't worry. Something here? It's so cute. I hear something. I was looking for one of those weird um, trees with the eggs or whatever it is. Because I feel like the sound maybe implies that they're close, but what is that? Oh. Don't buck. Ha ha ha. Out on me. Yeah. Let's... I will say this a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, wait. Whoop. 
Look there, there's something. Wood? Wow. Oh, I hope I don't see any spiders. There, I heard you. So now I can just... What does this mean? Oh, I completely destroyed it. I hope that's nothing bad. Hmm. And that's a really odd collectible. Like, I just played Made of Scare, and the collectible there was just a music box that looked the same. Like, 20 music boxes, identical. But that was very obviously... A oh, hey, I think I see a bug. This might be my only chance. I will sometimes forget to read those. Sorry, to get my bearings. No, your buggings. <laughs> Bulbo bubbing. Buggings. <laughs> Are you going to tower by any chance? What? Talking bug. Well, look at you, dude. What's so weird about it? Yeah. Uh, nothing, I suppose. Are you going to tower? I am. Do you know how to get there? I was just on my way. But I can't make it any further. I'm starving. I'm very sorry. Please help me, will you? I'd be glad to, but I have nothing to eat myself. I will make up voices later on in the game. I'm just... I have an apple. Ah, there we go. Why don't you eat it then? The way to the apple is flooded. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? You need to close the valve. It's behind a book on top of the cupboard. I will be able to pass through then. Why don't you go and close it yourself? I'm too hungry to move a muscle. Ah, uh, same. Help me. Oh, sorry, totally. And how's that? The water also flooded the path to tower. You need to close the valve. It's in a hole on top of the cupboard behind Ulysses. Oh, a very literary... Many literary references to, like, old classic books I did not read unless I had to. I read two classics. What is this place? I'm having a hard time believing it. Ah, believing this is all behind Joseph's cupboard. Yeah, we like the sticky stuff. Um, there we go. Oh, you know, but you also... Oh, no. Damn. That's the kind of stuff that gives me the motion sickness, so... Damn it me that I kind of messed that up. It's, okay. Ugh. I read a few classics when I was back in school on my own account. Because Elijah Wood uh, recommended The Great Gatsby and The Catcher in the Rye. And I was a big, I had a big crush on him when I was 13, 14 years old. And I think I also read Toni Morrison's Beloved on my own account. And I really did not regret that. That is an amazing book. Okay, so now we can get back. So there's other books by this company. Is... Are these also like humans that one day woke up? So this, this is a big experiment or is Gregor just completely super drunk or whatever? Yeah, the first time I, I played this and because of the heat, motion sickness gets even worse. Um, I And then I edited it and I realized I did not talk at all. <laughs> like I just played through the pain and through the nauseous feeling. There we go. I remember her. Also, this was a riddle I couldn't solve. Wait. Back to the drawer. Ha! Joseph's old music box. I can't believe he hasn't gotten rid of it. Perhaps I could turn it on. And draw Joseph's attention this way. I can't get up here because I guess it's too slick. Hmm. Oh. 
Well, that's a pretty bottle. Ugh. 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 Ah, maybe I can drop into the music box now. Whoop! Um... Am I on the... Aww. <gasps> Ooh! Joseph. Joseph! Can't hear me, but perhaps he'll see me if I climb higher up. Ah, uh, so this was just, um... Well... Another officer? What's going on? Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. No one sees me. That won't be possible. What do you mean not possible? So it's it's kind of funny the dialogue. In case you're angry at oh I don't want I want to hear the dialogue. Hula new. Why are you talking over it? Well, it's basically an iteration of just him asking what the hell's going on and them saying well we're going to arrest you you've done something and then he's like well what did i do and they're like mm, i don't, see any I don't mm, mm, what <laughs> i'll get my papers preposterous okay there's the list we have to go get up there oh what's that my book's got wet. Try Baudelaire immediately. Dostoevsky read. Have it bound. Ask Gregor to return Flaubert. So bugs on Joyce's book. Tell Gubak ur urgently. Our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. K. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway. So that's it. This reminds me of Nabokov's Ben Sinister. Um, which is a lot about like weird bureaucracy that destroys people. You know how they can invade. Like even the situation he is in now. He's in his own bedroom and a police officer is just in there roaming through his stuff. And not even giving an explanation. And no one notices. Jeez. To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. Nope. I bet I could laugh in your face right now, and it would turn out to be a joke. Nope, Joseph. A birthday joke this is my not a joke. <laughs> it's unthinkable. Is it some kind of mistake? Nope. If it's a joke, I'll sure be part of it. <laughs> You're the only one part of it. I assure you, it's no yeah. joke, Mr. K. Nor can there be any question about there being a mistake. As far as I know, the judicial authorities don't search for guilt within society. Rather, it's guilt itself that attracts their attention. That's when we, the guardians of the law, are sent out. That's the law. So where would there be any mistake? I don't know this law. 
the glittering in their eyes and in and, and certain details um, is a little bit distracting. Also, they read a little bit, they, they read their lines a little bit weirdly. This is the book that the bug mentioned. Yeah. Tower Mark. I must be going the right way. So we don't miss much. So it's basically a very long iteration. I think in case you haven't figured the puzzle out, like like I did, <laughs> um, then you just have you you still have like a dialogue in the background. And it's it's all pretty much it comes you know it's it's the same old Joseph trying to figure out what the hell is going on and they treating him like he knows exactly what's going on but he I think he has no he has no idea Whoop. oh there he is hi Mmm, scrumptious. Will you go to tower with me now? It's exhausting eating an apple. Oh, he's he's like me. I'm afraid I'll have to lie down for a bit when I'm done. Well, bon appétit. He's cute. I like him. But I wonder whether it's a, a human as well. Hopefully the sigils will mark out the path to the tower. Well, we'll see. There's the tower symbol again. Ugh. Yeah, I need to take a break. I think that will be it. Um, we're in a new section. We solved a few puzzles. Got a first um, glimpse. So the interesting part of the story, and I don't know whether that will be a good thing or not, is that you basically have two stories going. Like, First of all, what are we doing here? I'm not continuing because with the saving remark we will we will start at the beginning anyway so I will not make any progress after the saving mark. Um, yeah so we have Joseph's weird um, deal with the law or the unlawful law whatever um, probably the corrupt law and then we have of course which in my point of view right now is the bigger problem <laughs> Gregor has a bug you know and there's a weird company or whatever behind it that uses bugs for work and then they turn them back to humans so that's the bigger mystery that's also the one that Kafka didn't write about <laughs> so the whole Joseph story is actually quite um, in the vein of Kafka and also yeah as I said if you want to read a very depressing novel that kind of plays with the evilness of like of um, bureaucratic incompetence, then um, Nabokov spent sinister is a really it's a it's a reading tip. Um, it's not that long actually. It's uh, I think amongst Nabokov's books because he can be a bit exhausting to read. <laughs> He's a stylist and it it shows in his sentences and everything. But Ben Sinister is actually it's a short it's a shorter read and it's one of the easier to read books. Um, so I really recommend it if you like that kind of stuff. But it is a, it's it's kind of it's super sad. Nabokov himself um, really dealt a lot with uh, the Holocaust in his literature, and um, that is one of the books that really deals with fascism and in the way with the with the weirdness of the the ignorance. And again, yeah, with the nonsensicalness, like that it's nearly funny if it wouldn't be so sinister, you know, what's behind it, uh, which makes for a lot of uh, political clusterfucks in the history of humankind. Like I, I was six when the wall fell in, from, you know, in Germany. And I know a few stories from the GDR back in the days and also, of course, watched documentaries, read about it, learned about it in school. And it's absurd how many people seem to be incompetent, but also created really horrible um, systems where people died and, you know, were um, hunted down. So it's kind of, it's a weird mixture. And I feel like in this game you have a little, you have a level of that with Joseph's story. And maybe also with Gregor's, 
um, but we can't right now gather that because we don't know enough. Like his mystery is obviously a lot bigger. So we'll see. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, see you the next time. Again, my my episodes for this game will probably be a bit shorter because yeah, I do get a little bit of motion sickness and I want to provide fun commentary and that only works if I feel well. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this, like this. Follow me, you can comment also, like if you know something more about the game. No spoilers please, because I really, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, no spoilers, but I'm all open for theories and also about the different levels and maybe even similarities you've seen concerning um, Kafka's uh, novella and this game. Yeah, so um, take care and have a very nice day. Bye bye bye!